Hey everybody, this is Tony. And this is Paul, and we're coming at you from the Friends for Life podcast, where we discuss the ongoing lives and issues of people with developmental disabilities to spark positive change in the field. And we have a lot of fun doing it. Making sure that individuals are reaching the goals they have set for themselves. That's one of the many goals of Assured Health Services. If you're looking for a residential care provider or searching for ADS services, Assured Health is your go-to place. Assured Health, helping others succeed. Learn more at assuredhealthohio.com or call 419-442-8066. We have Corey back on the podcast. We just saw you not that long ago at the Tech Fest and now you're out here at Synergy. You yep. are a you are a traveling man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so last time we left off, we were talking about roller coasters. We were talking about Cedar Point. Now is your busy season, I believe. You got Cedar Point right up the road. I saw it from my hotel room last night. Yo, yo. So so what's got what do you got going on out there? Um right now we're we're literally doing um Hallow weekends Uh-oh. over at Cedar Point. Uh-oh. The weirdest thing ever to me is for people to pay to be scared. I, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> trust me, it's it's a lot of fun. <laughs> what do you What do you get to do when you get to scare? Like, who do you? What's your character? Um, my character is named his. It's a uh, pumpkin head. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and you just run around and scare people. Pretty much. Do you have a cool po- costume? Um, flannel shirt, overalls. And a black shirt. Nice. Do, is there an age limit? Like, do you have to sign a waiver and stuff you like that too? You have to be like over twenty-one. Oh, see, look, that just tells me it's too scary. I need a Disney kind of scared part. <laughs> oh, dude, it's it's not bad actually, because my scare captain and like the CT people, mm-hmm. they've actually seen me um, doing really really good to where they want me so like if people get really scared and they can't move or they are starting to have like an anxiety attack <laughs> I'm allowed to break character to help them oh man cause that would be me man I would so be that guy Tony would be crying I would he'd pee his pants probably and then once I leave I'd be like my eyes are just watering have, have you scared anyone so bad they've peed their pants I hate to say it, but yes. <laughs> I love oh, no. that. Oh, no. That's not even the worst. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. come on. Uh-oh. Give us the scoop. Come on. We want to hear it. I actually made them, somebody poop themselves. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, and it come was on, folks. <laughs> I, I want to see that happen to Tony. This is horrible. And it, it could. You can know how bowel issues sometimes. <laughs> well, because we actually give you a little taste when you come through and you go to the 7 o'clock show. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's called Mr. Midnight's Scaremonies. Wow. You see, like, like him do this little thing up on stage, and then you hear him say, Good night. Be prepared for all of us to literally run by you. Oh, hell breaks loose. I like it. (laughs) It gives you, like, just a little, like, a little nibble before you go out to there. So what are the rules? Like, are you not allowed to touch anyone? Yeah, or? you're not. They're not allowed to touch. Guests aren't allowed to touch you, and vice versa. You're not allowed to touch them. But if you're a screamster, <laughs> you're allowed to to be. You can mess with them. Yeah. So, yeah. what have you been getting out of the conference here? I know you talked about you went to something about Dungeons and Dragons this morning. What's that all about? Just kind of like different diversity type stuff. Mm-hmm. And see what like what everything was about, and get to see some of my friends from like all different different counties, mm-hmm. and, and that was really fun. What was the Dungeons and Dragon things about specifically? I'm interested in that because I got a bunch of friends that play that, and they always were trying to get me to play. Oh, I'm sorry. We're talking Dungeons and Dragons. I, I don't know anything about it. Me neither. <laughs> don't feel bad. I didn't even know anything about it until today. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds very complicated. From what I'm understanding, yep. Yep. <laughs> like what's, I know there's like a bunch of like dorky stuff, like you got to dress up and like goblins and uh, cards. Technically, and- we didn't dress up in that. Honestly, I think we need to take that kind of model of gameplay and add it to stuff like Monopoly. Like, why can't I you wear a monocle? Wear a monocle? And, yeah, that and, and a full tuxedo. <laughs> no. I want to dress up like a car. 
I could see you in a yeah, Transformer yeah. outfit. <laughs> but, a thimble. Yeah, a thimble. That, that, that fits. <laughs> Put a trash can over your head and run around. <laughs> so, but, um, I was when I was w- walking back with him, I actually did something very, very nice to a guest upstairs. I actually paid it forward to another person and told them not to worry about it. Well, that's awesome, dude. Dude, and like that's what we mean about humanity. I mean, little things like that. And that person should be happy that they got their hype of the caffeine because you are a Starbucks man. Yes, sir. We were just talking about that. Look, yes, I need to uh, get me some yes. of that. Look, I, at any moment, I can just go crashing. Like, <laughs> I am an early riser at times, but, you know, yeah. Synergy, this yeah. place has had me hype and moving. Yeah, trust me. Uh, how do you think I feel? Because tomorrow I literally have to, from here, I have to book it from here and get over to Cedar Point Dorms, Dorms, into the park. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're pushing it. You're pushing tough. Well, you have to work till like midnight? Yep. Is that when it closes? Technically, yes. Jeez. You're going to have a long day. You better get a couple extra Starbucks in the morning. The Reliable Drug and Alcohol Testing Clinic is a leading provider and convenient source of pre-employment and occupational type testing. Their clinic provides services to a wide range of private businesses, healthcare facilities, and municipal and county courts. Reliable is an independent, locally owned clinic. As a result, they provide their services at a lower cost than the major hospitals, have faster turnaround times on test results, and eliminate the long waits typically incurred at these larger facilities. To learn more, visit ReliableDrugTest.com. Uh, What's your I'm, Starbucks drink of choice? If I had my choice, it's the um, Caramel Ribbon Crunch. But if I can't get that one, um, Cookies and Cream. Cookies and Cream. Well, everybody is coming out with the, the spice thing this year, like pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice. And I saw this cool little meme. It had like salt, pepper, um, paprika, and then it had um, pumpkin spice. It was like, oh, look who's joining the party now. <laughs> it's like, it's because it's so seasonal. Like, who? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a pumpkin spice fan? No. Me neither. I don't even like the smell of it. It just doesn't feel it's right. It's not for me. Yeah. I saw a meme the other day and it said it was a barbecue restaurant and it said free throat punch with every request for pumpkin spice ribs. (laughs) Let's go. All right. So with your character for the scare, the the scary stuff being pumpkin head, are you a pumpkin carver at all? Do you like to? If if I have help, yes. Mm. But if not, then I'll just paint. You will paint. I, you know what? I like the painting of them because it lasts a little longer. But I saw this really cool new technology that they have where it's a glove that has mm-hmm. a little scoop on it. Now, okay. I think that personally, you need to do it old school. If, with you know, a spoon. If yeah, with a spoon in your hands. You just get in there. Just dig in <laughs> deep. But I've always liked the painting because you can use it from the beginning of the season all the way to the end. Yeah, and then I like to take the pumpkins and throw them in the ground, and then I have more pumpkins growing from it. Yeah. You know? Yes, I am that green thumb guy. <laughs> I've never seen you grow any pumpkins. Well, that's, man, leave me alone. Like, why does he always got to bring this stuff up? Because <laughs> it's fun. No fact checks, no fact checks. No, I, I do have Have some. you seen where they, instead of carving the actual pumpkin all the way through, they like etch it out and they make like faces and stuff? I've like, seen something on that. It looks pretty cool. Yeah I, yeah, I would be really bad at that, but it looks fun. It looks very tedious. Yeah. 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 It's for people yeah. with a lot of free time. All right. Um, how do you feel about weaponry of, like, people with handheld pistols and stuff? I'm, I'm not, not a fan really, of that? Yeah, I'm not really. Yeah, well, I watched a guy, and I know people that will shoot at them, but I seen something on YouTube where a guy took a rocket launcher. And blew up uh, like a 200 pound pumpkin. It was the coolest thing I ever saw for a pumpkin explosion. No, I am good. <laughs> <laughs> what about fireworks? Can we put some fireworks in one, blow it up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you seen where they catapult it? Actually, I have. That looks like fun. That Actually, looks- I have. I saw it w- once at, um, out in uh, Huron. Okay. Oh, you saw it in person? Yeah. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah. Literally, when you hear it, like, literally, when it smacks down onto the floor, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything you're looking forward at the rest of this event? I know there's a lot going on. They're going to um, party until the evening. There's and... a dance tonight. Oh, baby. Dance cut and, the rug? Dance and pizza. Pizza. I th- that's Dude, what I that's had what... some of that pizza last night. Yeah, we, we, we both ate pizza last night. It had me... Very did happy you, this did morning. Did you get it from here or did you get it outside of we here? Had it from, well, I had some, he had some from here. I double dipped. I had pizza from here and then Tony ordered pizza. Yeah, I, you, because I was kind of late. I was, I, right. I, I, now, let me ask this. Where did you go and get your pizza from? I'm a Marco's man. <sighs> you know, Why, What and, do we need to get? Yeah, where, where should we go? Domino's. They just came out with... Here. They've got pumpkin p- spice pizza. No, <laughs> <laughs> they they have a like a like a stuffed bread, like the breadsticks. But the inside the breadsticks, they have pepperoni inside of them. Oh, what? is there a Domino's around here? Uh, Perkins Ave. Dude, mind blown. That's that's, oh, that's very up. innovative. Oh, Order I got you on this one. They have loaded tater tots. Man, come on, really? Tony, hook it yeah. up, man. Like, dude, I think that's where dinner's going to be again. <laughs> Another pizza joint. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> well, Corey, man, thanks for coming back on the podcast. It's Thank been, you. It's been awesome talking to you again. Man. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see if I can get scared by you at Cedar Point, but I just don't want to spend that much to go Trust ride. Me. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for him to go and for me to just hear about the experience. <laughs> no, I want to see oh, Tony trust me. Oh, dude. Trust me, if I blend in really good with the... Uh, the stuff you'll never see. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gotten people like literally when people say they literally walk up to me and go go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like literally they'll be like and then so like I'll lean back and be like watch this man. <laughs> well Corey thank you again my buddy. I can't wait to see you again and you know as always we appreciate you and what you do for the community and I mean just your active service and kind gratitude today is going to transform someone's life for the positive so thank kudos you. to you for that thank you thank you THS Remote Supports is clearly focused on improving independent living through dynamic and personalized services. Their systems have been carefully developed and perfected to ensure that everyone receives the best care through the least intrusive means possible. Located in Cincinnati, Ohio, they've spent over 20 years providing in-home supports to individuals with disabilities. If you or someone you know is looking for a remote service provider, go to THSRSS.com or call 513-882-9088.